What's up everybody, I'll start back today for another video. Today I'm here with my brother behind the camera and my truck, uh, the rear shock went out so we had to replace some of these Bielstein 5100s. Apparently they're rated really good for the Ford F-150s, mine's a 2010. Um, I've already done this one but I did it wrong, I put this on up top. Um, so we're just going to replace this one, I'm going to show you guys how to do it real quick. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm trying to make it as fast as I can so you guys can get to the point because I know that's what I needed whenever I was doing this. So stay tuned. All right, so the box, you get this little cool Bilstein shock absorber sticker, and then it comes in a package. Uh, this is taken out of the package, and it has these on it. You're just going to compress, get these off, and then to get the little gases and all that going, you want to do this. Do that like once or twice or three times if you really want to. I don't really think it matters, but it's probably good for the shock. So you got that. Now uh, I'm just going to show you guys on here, and I'm going to take off my my old shock, which is this thing. Um, you can see the oil coming out of it. If you don't know how to tell if your shock is bad, uh, that is very bad. Uh, it's leaking, whatever that crap is. Uh, my my, I'd get in the back of my truck, and the bed would literally creak. So. Let's get into showing you guys how to do this. All right, so on my truck, uh, this is 2010. I think they were on 15 to 18 millimeter sockets, and then I just got a wrench to put on the back because they're Loctites. And uh, so you're gonna come over here. Drake, there you go, bud. Look under here. Um, so there is a bolt right here, and then there's another bolt here. I'll show you, I'll, I'll show them under here that we're gonna wanna take off. We've got these bolts right here, uh, th that one, and then this one, and then those two at the top. I, I, if I were you guys, um, I would actually probably put WD-40 on it before you started, especially if it's old. Mine's a 2010, it's all rusty and crap. And that WD-40, let it soak, it helps a ton. So I went ahead and just loosened the bottom. You're not supposed to take the bottom off first, but you want to take the top off first and then level or uh, raise your, the back of your truck up and then uh, take the bottom one off and then pull them out and uh, then put in your new one. But I'm going to take this top one out and then pull the bottom out, the bottom bolt, and we'll be good. So stay tuned. All right, so um, if you come in here, you'll see that uh, there's, there's your socket. And then you're going to want to put your wrench on the back. Tighten that down so that Loctite freaking thing won't mess with you. Just like that. And then you just get this bolt right out of here. Uh, there you go. That shock's going to expand. And you're going to come back here, jack it up. You see that? Mm -hmm. can, you, can they see that? Just pull this out real quick. I mean, this is gonna expand on me, but. So we got it out. I put it in there wrong, so we're gonna have to do that. So what I do is I'll come over here and I put that in there and these shocks will compress. Hey, you can do it with your hands. I mean, you, you gotta be kind of strong, but. Oh, whoops, gotta make sure it's in there. And that shock will compress. Not as easy anymore. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, might want to do the bottom first there. And then compress the top. Ah. Got the freaking gases going and now it's <coughs> insane. Insane. So, Drake, can yeah. you do something for me? Yeah. So there's a bolt down there. I can film it and all that, but you just gotta put the bolt on the bottom so it'll stay intact, and then I can push this down into this one and put the bolt in. You know what I'm saying? There's a hole. Nope. You just need to put that bolt in the hole. Where's it going? You'll see a hole down there, 
and you'll see the bottom of the shock. You'll probably have to use uh, your hands to move it around and put that bolt in. This? Yeah. Don't twist it, just hit it in. Not good. Now hit it with your palm again. There you go. Quit being a baby. Alright, so you gotta compress it a little bit with your arm so it's hard. But, I mean, not too hard, but it's just annoying. You just barely gotta get that bolt in there. I know people like to use pry bars for this, but we like doing things the hard way. You got it. Here we go. Make sure it goes all the way through. Ow. And then, <coughs> you just put your washer on the back, tighten them down and you're good. And then all you have to do is tighten them down. <coughs> And then we're good guys, so uh, that is how you install those shocks, we're going to get the other one on, take it for a test ride here soon maybe, but uh, as you can tell that's the new Bilstein, I think it's a 5100, and yeah, hopefully uh, it, it'll ride pretty good, but I hope you guys learned something from this, and I hope it was easy, um, and I'll see you guys soon here, so stay tuned.